This video is made available by the Berea College Technology and Applied Design Program under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license. So far, I have been pulling functions. I won't finish that. So functions have just been appearing in these videos and you have to say, Matt, where are these functions coming from? That's a good question because it's not like I magically know everything about the Arduino. So if you were to go to the help menu in your Arduino environment and go down to the reference, then it will open up a web browser on your computer and take you to the documentation about the Arduino. And looking right here, look at this. Right there, functions. That's exactly what we've been using so far. They don't say function monsters, but uh, we're going to forgive the Arduino crew. Um, pin mode, there's pin mode, and digital write, right there front and center, digital input output, and here's time, uh, I don't see delay, but maybe if we scroll down just a little bit, hey, there's delay, and so I'm going to take a look at delay, because that'll tell us some things about what it means to read documentation. Now the first thing is going to be the description and that's kind of useful. It pauses the program for an amount of time in milliseconds that's specified as a parameter. The parameter is what goes in the monster's mouth. So there are a thousand milliseconds in a second. And here's the syntax. And syntax means grammar. So if you don't use it that way, uh, you'll have it will be an error. So here, for example, we could say delay and then some number of milliseconds. And that would be grammatically correct. So when we use the check mark in the environment, it's checking the grammar of our programs. Every single piece of documentation has an example, and that's really useful. It's a complete program. We can see here's our friend setup and our friend loop. There's the magic incantation. Pin mode shows up, as does digital write. So some of our old friends are there, and there's delay, being used to delay for 1,000 milliseconds or one second. So that program actually should look very familiar, and it has only one new concept. Now the caveats, or the drawbacks, you might want to read about these. So the problem with delay is that much like the Mayans, uh, when you use delay, it, it creates a vortex and it'll end the world. Uh, no. But actually, the problem is when you use delay, it basically sends the Arduino out to lunch. So if you say delay for a thousand milliseconds, the Arduino stops reading sensors and stops controlling mode. It just stops. So you, you can't say that I'll delay until something happens. When you say delay for a thousand milliseconds, that's it. So that's a brief tour of one piece of documentation. Don't be afraid to use it. If you do read documentation you don't understand, by all means, ask questions.